Shalom. I want to give a praise on the glory to Yahweh, Bashim Hashai, Bashim Rakal Kadash, and the belongings to the other apostles of Great Mill, Salon, Tony's Truth, and peace, blessings, and citations to the whole bullet. And, um, yeah, man, I just got done watching the beloved brothers, Gabba Dama's, um, video concerning, um, Isa. <laughs> Well, basically, um, these ninjas are basically saying this guy named the Cube is the one who created the so-called white man, which, <laughs> uh, in that, it's, 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 it's just insane. It's just insane. <clears throat> like, the thing is, but what about Cain? Because literally, Esau is Cain, basically, in a, in a re incarnation. Because, like him, it's mentioned, um, let me get it. For this man. <clears throat> and let me start yeah Genesis 4 and 8 <clears throat> actually you know what I can actually go f further up You know, what? let me start through. This is an in process of time. It came to pass that Cain bought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord Yahweh Shimon Hashai, and Abel he also bought of the first firstlings of his flock, and of the fat thereof. And the Lord Yahweh Shimon Hashai had respect unto Abel and to his offering. And you see, from even from here, it, it it literally separates the two lineages. You got the lin the lineage of the sons of God, and then you got the lineage of the wicked, <clears throat> which Abel comes from the line of um the sons of God. And Cain being from the line of the sons of wicked or sons of the wicked. Hence why he didn't sacrifice correctly. He he couldn't do righteously. <clears throat> Even though he was taught how to do it. As he as he as he keep reading. It says, um But unto Cain and to his offering he had not respect, and Cain was very rough. And his countenance fell. So Cain didn't want to sacrifice correctly. Even though he knew how to sacrifice. And even then, he got angry. Because he, he, he sacrificed wrongly and he, he wasn't accepted. He was rejected, man. And like it says here in verse 6. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou rough? And why is thy countenance Fallen, if thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin life at the door, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. <clears throat> so, yeah, man, <laughs> Cain was taught the correct way to sacrifice by his father, and obviously, he didn't want to do it, and he became angry. And he was jealous of a woman. Why? Because he was of the lineage of the sons of God. <clears throat> but as as we as we keep reading, you you'll see the the jealousy unfold. And that's another thing with um Jacob and Esau as well. There's that that jealousy, that perpetual hatred. But um, let's continue reading. It says, And Cain talked with Abel his brother, and it came to pass 
and when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel his brother and slew him. And that's and that's why um Cain's known as um the first murderer. And the Lord Yahweh Bashim said unto Cain, Where is Abel, thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my am am I my brother's keeper? So that's another thing right there. And look at the time, ten forty four. But um yeah, that's another thing there. Lying. <laughs> he, he he didn't need to lie. Obviously he already knew that the Lord knew what he did, but he still wanted to lie. As he was mentioned as well in um in Psalms fifty eight and three, like it says, the wicked are strange from the womb, they go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They're like the death out of the stop of her ear. And uh, another thing, <laughs> the, the serpent man in the garden, that was the lineage of the wicked man. <clears throat> and there's that same thing. <clears throat> and carrying on. Yeah, verse 10. And he said... What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. And now art thou cursed from the earth, which have opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. And, and remember that the, the, the Lord curse came. <clears throat> and it says, When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield, yield unto thee her strength, a fugitive and a vagabond, Shall thou be in the earth? And Cain said unto the Lord, My punishment is, too, is greater than I can bear. So, chiefly, chiefly speaking, Cain, he, did, he didn't want to accept his punishment. He didn't want to accept the things <clears throat> or the consequences. Yeah, he didn't want to accept the consequences. He didn't want to take no accountability. Just like Esau either. <clears throat> Like, Esau Edom sold, sold his birthright. But then he wants to get angry and have this perpetual hatred and wanting to slay his brother. All because of what he did. <clears throat> and like it says, um, Behold, thou hast driven me out this day from thy face of the earth, and from the face shall I be hid, and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth. And it shall come to pass that everyone that findeth me shall slay me. <clears throat> and it says, And the Lord said unto him, Therefore, whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain, lest any finding him should kill him. <clears throat> and you need to understand that this judgment that was said, it didn't apply until. Cain comes back, or when, like I said, um, when Cain lives again, because you gotta remember what the scriptures say about the judgment. <clears throat> yeah, second and just four, season five, five. It says, "For after death, shall the judgment come." <clears throat> where we shall live again, and then shall the names of the righteous be manifest, and the works of the ungodly shall be declared. So, Cain's judgment didn't start until he lived again. And you're probably thinking, oh, when did Cain live again? He came back as Esau. Hence why, when Esau came out of the womb, he, he was noticeably different, hence why I made mention of um his appearance, because <clears throat> there was a mark upon him. He 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 was different from the others, man, and he was different from Jacob. Let's get it. Two nations. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> Genesis 25 and 23, and it says, And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. Basically meaning, two different nationalities are in her womb. And <laughs> that's the lineage of the righteous or the sons of God. And then you got the lineage of, of the wicked. <clears throat> and carrying on and it says, And two men of people shall be separated from thy vows. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. And the elder shall serve the younger. Yeah, being Esau, Edom. Because he, he was the older. And even when it was Cain and Abel, and Cain was the eldest, and Abel was the youngest, and even when they came back, Cain being Esau, and Abel being Jacob. <clears throat> and you know what? Let me scroll on down. Let me scroll on down, let me scroll on down. Actually, that, that's, not, that's not what I wanted. <clears throat> and, yeah, this is basically um, the blessing that was given unto Esau Edom. And... This, this is all before Yakub, which that's just that's just, that's just insane. They're trying to say eugenics and <laughs> this craziness. <clears throat> like literally, Esau, Esau was um, what should I say, the so-called progenitor of the so-called white people or the self-proclaimed white people. Stemmed from Esau. <coughs> and let me read verse 38. And it says, And Esau said unto his father, Has thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also. On my father, and Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac his father answered and said, Unto him, behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. And that's why these self-proclaimed white people have the, have the dominion right now and have the best of everything. Why? Because it, it was given to them. Like, literally, they're, they're in their blessing right now. <clears throat> And also, not only that, but Job 9, Job 9 and 24, the earth is given to the hands of the wicked, meaning the, po the power of the earth is given to their hands. And like it says, <clears throat> where is it? Yeah, the, behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. So, yeah, these self came white people, they have the, the, the dominion. And like the scripture is saying in um, 2nd Ezra 6 and 9, Esau is the end of the world, being an end of an, end of an age, and Jacob is the beginning of which to follow with. <clears throat> and carrying on, it says, And by the sword shalt thou live, and shalt serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass, and thou shalt have the dominion, yeah, which Esau has the dominion right now, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And literally, living by the sword, that, 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 that's something Esau has done. He's proved it by way of um, history. Like the, 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 British, the British Empire, like they went around the world conquering. <coughs> and I like literally... America was founded by um, the fighting British colonies as well. I literally, the, 
they, they used the sword, they used their blessing to get the power of the earth. <clears throat> and like verse 41 says, um, And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing, but with his father blessing. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. And literally, <clears throat> this is where this is where the the hatred started, man. Because once again, e Esau literally sold his sold his birthright, and then now he's complaining that he sold his birthright. <laughs> just just like just like um when he was Cain. He was taught the correct way to sacrifice. He didn't want to do it, but then got angry when he wasn't accepted and he was rejected. And then proceeded to be angry with his brother and end his life. And just like here, just like here, where is it again? Um, yeah, verse, verse 41. And he's like, hey, Jacob, because of the blessing, maybe his father bless him. And he starts said in his heart, being in his mind, the days of mourning for my father at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. And literally, that, that's how these self proclaimed white people are, man. All they want to do is um, commit acts of violence. <clears throat> and just like it makes mention, man, um, Psalms. Psalm 73 and 3, and it says, For I was envious at the foolish, and I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Because yeah, you got to remember, man, the, the earth is given into their hand. The fatness of the earth is given, into, is given to them. And it says, For there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men. Neither are they plague like other men. And the reason why is because they're the ones who come up with the laws. They're the ones who have control over the earth. So they, they can get away with doing things. <clears throat> In verse 6 it says, Therefore pride compasses them about as a chain, and violence covereth them as a garment. The eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than the heart could wish. So yeah, they literally have the whole entire earth at their disposal. They got this massive military that they can just use to to, to the, destroy anyone, and they got these um, advanced weaponry. All, all they gotta do is, is press a button, and the enemies are the enemies are are, are gone. <clears throat> and it says, um, they are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. They set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue walking throughout the earth. And yeah, man, they're, they're, they're always um, blaspheming the Most High. And not only that, but um, always trying to disprove what Yahweh Bashir Muhammad Shah has done. <clears throat> and it says, Therefore, his people return hither, and what was our four people have wrung out to them? And they say, How do we have gone now? And is there knowledge in the Most High? And it says, Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches. And now all you gotta do is ask yourself, who are the ones increasing in riches? First and foremost, starting with um the, the 12 banking families, man. Who um who are um what's the what's the word called them? The J the, the, the J Wish people, man. That they're literally increasing in wealth. <clears throat> and not only that, America is giving them money on top. And not only that, they own a lot of these companies that are on the uh, that are in this earth. They have um investments in or their shareholders. Um one one of the Noticeable names 
of um of one of those companies is BlackRock, which um that's owned by Amalek. <clears throat> which Amalek come from the line of um Esau Edom. <clears throat> And and like it says, man, they in, they increase in riches. And all you gotta do is see who the richest people on the earth is, and literally you'll you'll find out who the wicked is. It's, it's evident who it is. It's evident, and even then, the scriptures say the wicked will be revealed anyway. <clears throat> I think it's um, Second Thessalonians. It's Second Thessalonians two and eight, and it says, "And then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of His mouth, being the prophets." And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So, yeah, the Lord's going to destroy the wicked, man. And even then, the Lord has made the wicked for his purpose. He's made them to basically be destroyed. And let me continue reading. It says, even him who's coming is after the working of Satan. With all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. So yeah, that they, they, they can't be saved. <clears throat> and where was I gonna go? Um... Slow kids, I literally just forgot the scripture. It was in my, it was in my head. It just left my head right now. Um, let me go ahead and read this again in my head. It might come back to me. Ah, <clears throat> uh, you know, I can actually read this right here. Verse 11, <coughs> it says, And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion, that they shall believe a lie. And that's another thing um, with the NWO. They believe they're going to set it up and <clears throat> they're going to complete it. And that's another thing as well. Um, when he makes mention of Esau, he talks about the pride of thine heart, the pride of thine heart has deceived thee, O oh, that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. And yeah, they are being deceived because they think they're going to accomplish their enterprise. Or like the scripture say, um, <clears throat> Joel 5 and 12 says, they disappointed the devices of the crafty, and the crafty being Esau Edom. So that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Yeah, being that NWO man. That, that, that's what they're trying to do anyway. Like literally, Esau is so mad and so spoiled that they're trying to basically, um, they're trying to get their birthright back. Which it never belongs to them anyway. <clears throat> but they're trying to do it by way of um technology. They're trying to be gods basically. And and they're trying to do it by way of technology. Hence why the <clears throat> <coughs> up here. Hence why they need those um them two CHIPs. One that goes in the head and one that goes in the hand. Because it's, it's a part of um, Esau being 
uh, a gun. Like literally, <coughs> with the brain CHIP, they're gonna be able to know exactly what you're thinking. They're gonna be able to con control your mind. And then you got the one in the hand. Like literally, they'll be able to control that as well. For example, they don't want you to um buy a certain thing. They can literally just program the CHIP to only buy things that they allow. So literally, you're being limited. They literally gonna have control over you. At the same way, you help us somehow sure I can have control over someone. That's what Esau wants. And Esau thinks he's gonna get it by way of um basically see hipping everyone. <clears throat> but we know this we know what the scriptures say though. Job 20 and 23. And it says, when he is about to fill his belly, God shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. So the Lord ain't going to allow them to finish this crazy little scheme that's going on in Esau's head that has been planning for generations and generations. Like, literally, they're, they're trying this in... um. Was it the, the the Greek Empire? And then let me get it. It's in the book of Maccabees. <clears throat> yeah, here we go. Basically, they, they tried it back here. They tried it back here as well. But the thing with um, this time here, they didn't have the technology. <clears throat> and it says, um, Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all, that all shall be one people. And that's what the NWO is. Everyone being one. One currency. One religion. One power. <clears throat> and carrying on, it says, and everyone should leave his laws. So all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. Yea, many also of the Israelites consent to his religion and sacrifice unto idols and profane the Sabbath. And yeah, just just imagine the the, the Tifa Jakes being those celebrities, basically getting sea hipped. And then they're out there promoting it to the other Israelites. And then <clears throat> they go ahead and get sea hip too. Because it, 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 look, it looks cool. It's, it's futuristic. <coughs> and I'm carrying on. It says, for the king had sent letters by messengers unto Jerusalem and the cities of Judah that they should follow the strange laws of the land. So you basically worship the image of the beast. <clears throat> and this is exact same thing is going to happen again. And it says, And forbid burnt offerings and sacrifice and drink offerings in the temple, and that they shall profane the Sabbath and festival days and pollute the sanctuary and holy people. And if you think about it, the two thirds are gonna be polluted, and they're gonna be polluted by way of um taking the MOTV, which is the RFID micro CHIP, and also the brain CHIP. <clears throat> and when they do take it, they're basically saying Esau is their god, and now. They're patterned after Esau Eden and and, and his um creation. <clears throat> and carrying on, it says, and self altars and grows and the chavels of idols 
and sacrifice swine flesh and unclean beasts, and that they should also leave their children uncircumcised and make their souls abominable with all manner of uncleanness and profanation, to the end that they might forget the law and change the, all the ordinances. <clears throat> and we know Esau's been doing that. Esau's been changing the ordinances like for, for, for a while now. <clears throat> but this time he wants to get rid of um the belief of a, high, a higher power. When I say a higher power, I mean Yahweh Hashem HaLashem. That's what that's what they want to get rid of, and not only that, they want the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom to take the sea hip. And the reason why is because if <clears throat> if there wasn't a small remnant that have been um chosen to be um saved or say from the owl of te- the owl of temptation, then Yahweh I wouldn't come back. But because there is a small remnant, those those two first that take the MOTB and then you, those wicked jakes that have been scattered all over the earth <clears throat> it, it it don't matter if they take it because there's gonna be a, a small remnant that get the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark. <clears throat> like I makes mention as well in um Revelation fifteen. So <laughs> Esau's little um schemes won't work. <clears throat> and carrying on verse fifty. He says, And whosoever will not do according to the commandment of the king, he said he should die. And that's what it makes mention of as well in um, Revelation chapter 13. <clears throat> it talks about how if you don't want to worship the image or follow the strange laws of Esau either or the pagan Roman Empire, <clears throat> it says you, you should die. But then again, like I said, it don't really matter because we know there's a there's a small remnant there's a small remnant who are going to be preserved from all of this, like it says, and I saw another sign in heaven, great marvelous seven angels having the seven last plagues, when them is filled up with the wrath of God, and I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. And them that have gotten victory over the beast, and over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass having the hearts of God. And that sea of glass is the firmament. And the reason why it was mingled with fire is because of um, the nuclear destruction. And what happened was the Lord came back, saved the elect from the four winds from one part of heaven to the other and then they waited above the firmament <clears throat> and what they basically saw was um the the nuclear destruction. That's what they were watching. The nuclear destruction. And like it also makes mention in um Psalms ninety one and eight like it says only with thine eyes shall I behold and see the reward of the wicked because thou hast made the Lord which is my refuge even the most high thy habitation there shall no evil befall thee neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling so yeah that, that last plague man being those nuclear missiles which is the letter of the letter won't be saved man and they're going to be chilling above the firm and watching that nuclear destruction, man. <clears throat> well, yeah, man, I hope this was edifying. I want to give a praise on and glory. See how about Shem, how Shabba, Shem, Rokha, Kadosh, and Shalom.